Welcome back to MC Disc Vlogs. We're here at uh, Scottsville Disc Golf Course in Scottsville, Michigan. Sorry, it's been a while. Yep, uh, this is a 24 hole course. Uh, from the reviews, it looks like it's decent, but it's not like a great course. I think it's got rubber tees and it's got like regular chain star baskets on most of the holes, but I just wanted to check it out to see if it's those any good. Those are the tee signs. Yep. Is this, those are the same type of T signs that like uh so it says the number and it does say the feet on there so yeah i don't know if all of them have signs like this i, I think they might but and he doesn't know what the t's are in every hole either yeah this is our first it's time here so kind of a see it as it goes kind of thing but this one it looks like it bends off to the to the left so i'll just throw a sidearm with my proton vanish And he'll let you know if his opinion matches the reviews or not. We'll see. Hole two, 215 feet. Uh, it's right over here, just straight ahead. So I'll throw a hyzer shot with my echo. You can see it down there. Hole three. Uh, it says 187 on the sign on Udis. It says 198. It's probably like yeah, 200 ish. It's right over the top of the weeds. It might be hard to see on the in the video, but I'll just throw my echo again. <laughs> All four, uh, 198 feet. Uh, I don't see the basket, but it looks like it just curves off to the left slightly. I'll just throw the echo on the sidearm. So far, the tee pads and the signage is the same. Yeah, yeah, these, these, these aren't all that bad. They're, I mean, it's better than the flat rubber. It has a little bit of texture to it. It's not like those toboggan pads they used to have back in the they day. They could be a little bit longer in length. Yeah. Because they're pretty short, but that's okay. That might be close. Oh, five, 182. Um, it curves like slightly off to the left a little bit. It's like behind a decent tree up there. Uh, just throw this one again. Probably be throwing this a lot if the holes are this length. Yeah, just make sure when you come off from the basket to go straight. Because if you go towards the left, that's number seven. Hole six, 160 feet. Uh, it kind of goes straight out and you do that sign and then it curves to the right. I just throw my envy. Probably hit one of these trees, but we'll see. Yeah, this looks like a tough fairway. Mm. Not too bad. Hole seven, 180 feet. I don't see the back in there, but it curves off to the left there. So throw the same disc again. Rough is pretty rough at this course. Yeah, that's why I'm not playing. But he's doing pretty good so far. That might be close. Hole eight, 300 feet. Uh, maybe you can see it on the video. It's like straight ahead past that Y tree there. Yeah, I'll zoom in. It's pretty tight though off the gap. It looks like it opens up a little more, but I'll just throw this vantage. Not until you get past this part. Yeah, just try to get it down there decent. He's gonna throw it nice and easy and not super hard at the risk of possibly losing it. There we go, that was perfect. Oh, it skips a little. Hole nine, 205 feet. It's uh, directly behind this decent sized pine tree right here. I'll try to throw a hyzer with the envy around that tree behind it and just have it fade in. Oh, or hit the tree. Hole 10, 205 feet. It's uh, just straight ahead there. I'll just throw a sidearm with the echo. Hole 11, 314 feet. Basically straight ahead and sort of curves to the left. So I'll just try to anhyzer this vanish a little bit. Hopefully it works out. Oh, 
Full 12, 175 feet. I'm gonna throw my watt on this one. This is a newer Desperon VP. I'd say it's kind of like an ohm, but it's a, a little bit straighter and a little lower profile. Similar run shape though. This is almost an ace one. Let's see if I can get close. Oh, 13, 205 feet. Kind of goes straight out a little bit and then kind of like a diagonal curve to the right. Throw my echo on a hyzer. Just an FYI, this is a 24 hole course. Yep. In case anyone was wondering. Pretty short though, so far. It is pretty short. We're getting through it pretty quick. Ooh, good kick. Oh, second kick's not so good. 14, 270 feet. Uh, kind of gently curves off to the right. A lot of trees to hit though. From my vanish, and like a just a flat shot with low power, and it'll hopefully just fade just a touch. Hmm. Well, 15, 255 feet. Um, these. Tee pads look almost relatively newer. When I look at the pictures on U-Disc, I think, I think it just used to be these like pink flags that mark the tees. So that's nice that they have something instead of just the throwing off the dirt. Um, but uh, it's pretty much straight ahead. And I'll just try to curve this on a, like a slight anhyzer. And some of the holes, the tee signs are behind the... Yeah, some of them aren't right next to the tee, but uh, I mean, the course flows pretty good overall. The, there's like pass near the basket, it, but... It's pretty good so far. It's pretty easy to follow. And like he said, if you have your disc, that really helps. To find like layouts and like the length of the holes. Ball 16, 364 feet. Uh, I don't remember if the rest of the holes are open, but it looks like we're on the open section of the course. So uh, this one's straight ahead. Looks like it's got a bush right off to the left. I'll just try to throw a hyzer at this panic. <laughs> There's some taller grass to the sides. And I'm in the tall grass. Hole 17, 405 feet. Uh, by you looking at the U disc map, it looks like it goes out straight and then at the end it curves off to the right. I'll throw my excite, just try to get out there pretty far. Pretty good. Roll 18, 210 feet. Goes out straight and then basically behind that big bush thingy on the right. Just throw the echo on a hyzer. Roll 19, 387 feet. Big open field and then it, it actually Looking at the UDIS map, it goes into that opening up there and then it's off to the right after the opening. So just try to get my panic into the opening, sort of. Oh, yeah. Good kick out. Hole 20, 467 feet. Okay, there's kind of like a couple paths next to the basket over there. You can either take the right path or the wrong path. Yeah, there, there's the one that's like straight to the side and there's one that's kind of diagonal the other way and it's a straight one to the side. The one okay. next to the basket, This yes. one's straight out, it's kind of tight and then it opens up, but uh, I'll just try to throw this straight out there a decent amount, vanish. That's what I figured and he happened to take one of the other paths. Hole 21, 520 feet. Looks like it curves off to the left, so first shot's kind of tight. I'll just throw a sidearm with a vanish. Try to get out there into the opening. Didn't do that. Do you want to throw it again? Just going to try a second one. 
take a mulligan shot. Okay, we're gonna third take a time. third mulligan shot, even though that one was in the fairway. There we go, that's better. Make sure when you get to the basket, you take the path on the left and not the path on the right. That leads all the way over there. I think that's like full 16s back over that way. Yeah, but that's hole. The next hole. Hole 22, 420 feet. Uh, it goes straight out for a while and then it kind of up on that side hill over there. Here, I'll go over here and show you. I'll throw my sight. You can see it way down there. There's also a little path to get in there. I think it stayed on the outside. Hole 23, 100 and, I think it says 195 feet. I think on U disc it said like 180 something. It's yeah, 195. It's like super tight through here, but I think I'm just gonna do a spike kaiser over the top and then I'm gonna have Maddie go down there and film it from there. It'll be easier. So I will see you down there in a second. Okay. Just waiting for him to... Wow, right there. That was really good. Good job! Pull 24, 330 feet. I'll throw my Vanish on Flight Hyzer. A little bit of wind. Uh, oh, the review, uh, it's a decent course. It's like rank 190th out of 302 rank courses, I think. Would you I say know. it's like the reviews or not so much? What's your uh, take? Well, I bet a lot of the reviews are before they got these tee pads here. And I don't know, I think it floods sometimes, but we looks like we're catching it during a dry part of the season. So that's good. Uh, the rough gets pretty rough if you get off the side of the fairways, but I mean, a lot of courses are kind of like that. Especially on 23. Uh, looks like they might have mowed it recently, which is good. It's a nice to play a course right after it's been mowed. So it's, in, it's right next to a campground. So I'm guessing the campground people mow it. Um, and they might play this for like amateur state championships too. So they might try to keep it up for that, but uh, it's a decent course. 